Welcome. This is Wisconsin Shoe Guy, and today we are going to look at my pipeline. And we're going to start with, for those of you who don't know, the pipeline is just the shoes that I've already ordered that I haven't received yet. And so we're going to start with this, which is a JFB and Baker uh, um, uh, hole cut, uh, seamless hole cut, uh, which Ichigo Ichi E uh, is going to uh, be uh, building for me. Um, and it is going to have a plow Adelaide cut into it, uh, which I'm excited to see. Uh, while this is actually being built, I have another um, Plow Adelaide in uh, Baker being done by Carmina. Uh, so I can take a look at it um, uh, probably while I'm going through the uh, sizing process uh, with Ichigo Ichi, so which, which are made to measure. So um, obviously it's seamless. It's my first seamless hole cut, so it's going to be a much bigger uh, uh, much bigger uh, shoe overall. So I'm um, looking forward to uh, seeing how that works. But that is, uh, that is the first one that we're going to talk about in the pipeline. Uh, the pipeline itself only has 14 shoes in it. We'll talk a little bit about each one, uh, but uh, just uh, want to give you a little overview. Uh, this is going to be a uh, this is a hole cut uh, that I ordered. I don't know why I put in this particular shoe in in my pipeline, but it's a um, I, I ordered a um, heritage shell cord um from uh, from Meerman. Uh, but it it is a whole cut. It is not a one hundred two six two zero. So I have to uh, go back and check my records now, make sure that I didn't mess that up. But um, this is because uh, I, I don't do this particular shoe. But um, it, it is a a very nice uh, um, uh, example of uh, where I look at Meerman as, hey, I'm going to try a new shoe, but I, I don't want to spend a lot of money on it, so I'm going to order it from Meerman first, see if I like it, and then um, and then upgrade to. To a, a, a you know a, a more intricate or, or more well known brand uh, that is uh, the way I'm kind of looking at Mirman these days. They they do great shoes, and uh, it's a great way for me to uh, try something out without having a huge investment. So as we uh, as we move on, uh, the next one is a Carlos Santos. Um, they're doing a um, an Adelaide. Uh, which is really a plain toe Adelaide, which I really like. Um, and it has a very cool view throat when it comes to a, a peak at the bottom um, in Shell Cordovan. And I believe this is the first time I've had a Carlos Santos shoe in Shell Cordovan. It's also the first time I've seen a Carlos Santos shoe in, in Shell Cordovan. And in working with the Noble shoe, I believe this is the first time Costas has seen a um, uh, an Adelaide in Shell Cordovan from Carlos Santos. So we're very excited about this, and uh, I'm really excited I was able to get in on this uh, particular MTO and looking forward to uh, seeing these shoes um, here in the near future. Uh, the next one is from Michael Darren Shoes. This is a, and by the way, if you go to my, um, uh, the reason that you see like C price and stuff like this on my pipeline is because I actually linked these to the pages where I bought them. So um, uh, just if you actually go to this uh, link, um, this will, uh, I'll get you there, and I'll have the link in the uh, description of the video. Now, um, as as we look at this, this is a uh, it's a kind of a smoky patina, and what I asked him to do, um, Michael Darren Shoes owner is Michael Baldinger, um, and he and I are in, in several groups together. Um, I asked him to do something that he's never done before, which is to do a mother of pearl patina, and uh, we went back and forth a few times on this, and he actually just sent me a, a sample picture, uh, I believe it was earlier this week, where he had uh, tried this on a pair of the same patina, but in a, um, in a monk, a double monk, and I really like the way it came out. So it's got green, it's got pink, it's got, you know, it's, it really has that um, mother of pearl look to it, uh, but on a shoe. Never seen it before, never had it before, he's never done it before. Uh, so excited about having those. And, uh, you know, to, that's what patina is all about. It's about doing something that you think will look really, really good. Um, having that vision, working with an artist who can help bring that vision to life and then seeing what it comes out like. Right. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of patina artists, uh, just like a lot of shoemakers, uh, they're not going to put something together that's bad. Uh, so you 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 put your faith in them as an artist uh, to uh, to deliver, uh, deliver the goods. Speaking of artists, the next four shoes we're going to talk about are by some of the greatest shoe artisans in the world. 
And this one is, um, now this actually came off of Instagram and uh, Yohai Fukuda um, has agreed to make an MTO of this shoe for me on one of his regular lasts. Uh, so it's not bespoke, okay? but it is going to be this shoe and it is going to be in this leather. Um, so I'm very excited about this. I think that I, if I can zoom in on the leather, um, I think that would look really cool, but uh, I'm not sure if that's going to work. Worked a little bit. See, and see, there I go, messing up uh, Pinterest again. So we'll just go back in there. So this is a, uh, it is a, a, a Scotch grain leather. And I've never um, had uh, one of the embossed leathers from one of the top shoemakers. And I really want to see what they do with it. Um, so, and uh, um, Yohei Fukuda is a gentleman. He spent some time with me. We talked a lot about sizing uh, back and forth on, on um, Facebook Messenger. And he's just really a uh, really nice guy. And looking forward to seeing how this uh, this this shoe turns out. Now um, the next one is uh, this is Saint Crispin's, and I um, you know I had a custom last with uh, uh, Saint Crispin's, and Saint Crispin's basically take a, a standard last and then they adjust it for, for your foot. They don't build a last from scratch because it's not bespoke. Um, and uh, what um, what we did was we made some adjustments to it. Um, for uh, the trial shoes that I have. And, um, I, you know, I've worn the trial shoes now for almost a couple months and um, really um, had some questions about it. So uh, he and I um, hopped on the phone together. Um, this is uh, Philip Carr, who, who, who runs St. Crispin's. He, he and I hopped on the phone and we talked about what it would be like, right? Um, and what I should expect, how it should break in, you know, how I should feel. Because I've always had a bad experience with loafers. I've never really felt good about them. They're always too tight or they're too loose. I always get heel slip. It doesn't matter what, what I do. And so, you know, he's given me a lot of uh, feedback that I really value. And, um, you know, he, uh, made some adjustments um, so that they'll, they'll fit right. So um, really excited about it. And, um, you know, I feel like this is, uh, uh, this is going to be a step in the, in the right direction in my shoe journey. Uh, where I may be able to, um, at least from St. Crispin's, uh, you know, continue down this path. Now, he did tell me that um, fitting loafers is like the hardest shoe of all of the shoes to fit uh, because they are, you know, there is no way to tighten them. So it, it, is, a, uh, uh, it is a great path. And then we also talked about some, some future shoes from St. Crispin's that, uh, that I can think about, uh, which I'll review in a What's Next video. Now, uh, the next shoemaker I talked about, you know, we're, 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 we're hitting some of the bigs here, um, is uh, Antonio Macariello. Now, um, this is a shoe, and you can see that it's in progress. He, he was kind enough to send me a picture. Um, but this is a, a Hawks Bill Last of the uh, Principes II Adelaide. And this is obviously in suede. I'm really, really looking forward to the shoe. Uh, currently, I, I, it's, I, I thought it was going to be done, but he's actually going to be making some fitting adjustments uh, for me uh, based on my, um, he and I have been talking uh, a great deal and uh, we've decided to go on a made to measure project together. And so he is going to, after he gets my measurements, he's going to make some adjustments for this just to make it fit better. So I'm um, super excited about this. The pro process has, as always with Antonio Meccariello has been fantastic. And uh, really looking forward to uh, seeing how uh, these shoes and, of course, the uh, uh, Peccary Centurions that, that I'm ordering um, turn out. So uh, that'll, be, uh, that'll be really great. Now, um, they, they changed the order, so bad, bad me with messing with Pinterest. Um, this is a, um, uh, the, the newest one. I ordered these on Tuesday. Um, this is a three eyelet split toe derby um, from Chiro uh, Yana uh, Gamachi. Um, widely recognized as one of the top shoemakers in the world, um, along with Antonio Macariello, along with Yohei Fukuda. Um, and he is, um, you know, uh, he's, his shoes are just a joy um, to, to see. And um, having spent, uh, he and I had a phone call, um, Having spent some time with him, uh, you know, I, I see what people are talking about. I mean, he's a brilliant individual, and he uh, um, is just a, a real nice nice guy and a gentleman. Um, looking forward to these shoes. Uh, he introduced me to an Ananoi uh, uh, hatch grain, 
Uh, and I've always, even being from Chicago and, 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 and understanding horror, Ween Hatch Grain is from Chicago. Um, I, I'm excited about trying this other um, Hatch Grain uh, because it's new. And of all the Hatch Grain that I have, none of it is from Illinois. So um, that's going to be exciting for me as well. Uh, we talked a lot about, um, uh, you know, uh, what we want to do with Soul and everything. It, we, we really kind of uh, uh, covered the gamut. So uh, these are going to be really exciting. They're going to have a beveled waist with a fiddle back, and it's going to be just awesome. So really looking forward to these and, uh, and how they turn out. Um, now, the uh, um, Carlos Santos Adelaide's I think I covered already, so I'm going to move on to um, these are from Yearn. Uh, now, Yuren is a shoemaker in China uh, that uh, is a hand welted maker. Um, they had uh, um, been doing a lot of stuff just to Instagram only. They just released a website this week and uh, had reached out to me. They've gotten their PayPal straightened out, and I was able to order a pair of shoes. Now, this is not on the website. This is one from Instagram, and I really like this patina, so I reached out to them, and uh, they were able to help me. Uh, like, they have always helped um, customers when, when we reach out to them. And, uh, you know, so really excited to see how these uh, turn out uh, for my first foray into yarn. And then um, these are Enzo Bonafes um, that I'm, uh, this photo is from Solgarb. Uh, this is a ball, this, this shoe, is, uh, this boot on the picture is a ball way. But what I um, uh, am actually getting is a split toe derby. Uh, the reason that I have this picture on my pipeline is because it's this color. This is a hatch grain bronze shell port event, which is awesome. Okay, it's it's really green, and um, I, I really like the way this looks. Now, what we did was normally it's the twenty seven forty five model, and and uh, those of you who watch the channel, I have two of those. Um, is they're normally on the seven four nine four five last, which is a great last, which is the last of these boots. Um, but what we're doing is we're doing them on the 943 last, or I think 943 or 946. I obviously have slept since I've looked at these. But um, this is a, a really, really cool because that is an Oxford last. So if you look at my Enzo Bonafes and you look at um, um, my Adelaides or at my Whole Cuts, they're both on this last. And we are going to make a split toe on an Oxford last. It ought to be beautiful um, and uh, should be uh, just absolutely wonderful. So looking forward to that project as well. That, um, you know, many of these are four to six months out. Um, some of them will come sooner. Uh, but, uh, you know, MTO projects do take some time. Uh, this is a Carmina. Um, this, is the, uh, this is the other Russian calf, uh, the, the Baker Russian calf in uh, um, uh project now this one is uh it's a good year welted shoe it's not made to measure um so but it's i'm doing it on the simpson last um they uh reached out to me and they said that that you know it had gotten damaged so they needed to remake it um so i know it's in process right now hopefully um this should be shipping here in the next couple weeks it is uh this is the model of the shoe the 80512 which is a hole cut but it is punched like an adelaide and that's what I wanted to see what that looks like on um, in Russian calf. It, it should be awesome. Uh, but uh, if my vision is bad, <laughs> and it could be bad, uh, then um, I want to know before the uh, before the made to measure one is, uh, you know, is clicked and, and uh, started and put together. So um, and then um, this is the Miriam hole cut I looked at before. So we'll skip that. This this is from Tahura Boots. Uh, and Tahura Boots is um, the boot, um, uh, uh, is, a, is a boot company out of Indonesia, and they are really, really um, well respected by a number of my friends in the shoe community. And I decided that as part of my project for uh, putting together Shell Cordovan shoes or boots from every tannery, uh, that I would give them a try, and they are bringing in Shell Cordovan from Chloe in Italy, and um, look really looking forward to it. Now this is a mock toe boot, and yes, I do not have a mock toe boot. Uh, I have a lot of split toe boots, but no mock toe boots. So this is going to be a different style for me. Um, obviously, we spent some time on fit, 
but uh, really looking forward to it and uh, feel like it's going to be a, a great addition to my collection. Um, and it's more of a, a work boot too. And, um, you know, I've been doing a lot of thinking that uh, there might be a, uh, a good reason to spend a little bit of time uh, in the more casual side of, of boots as well. Now, lastly, this, uh, this Turk Tucano uh, waxy suede in medium brown um, is, a, um, is one that I ordered today. And this is from Borden, uh, which is a, a company out of Colombia. Now, the story that they shared, um, and they, they joined one of uh, the, the Emerging Brands shoe group, um, uh, um, this <laughs> the Emerging Shoe Brands, sorry, I should say it right in case you want to check it out. Um, they are a, um, uh, a new brand um, during COVID. They are prior to COVID, rather, they had been um, ordering shoes uh, made in, in manufacturing centers in, um, in Spain and in Portugal. And they were uh, not able to keep supply going. And so they decided to set up a factory in Colombia. So uh, I don't know anything about the leather quality. I don't know anything about the craftsmanship. Um, so I'm taking a huge risk. Um, uh, but they're, it's not a heavy investment shoe. But um, I am uh, giving them a try uh, to see whether or not I like it. So uh, more to follow on those. Um, it is a, a GMTO. So they're waiting throughout the month of September before they start production. So um, hopefully we're able to uh, uh, get these things picked up soon. And, uh, you know, end of October, early November, um, we can uh, do a quick uh, unboxing and then, um, you know, in due course, a shoe or a boot review. So that is my pipeline. Uh, this was probably longer than you expected. It was longer than I expected as well. But I wanted to uh, give you a look at what I have in process. And uh, I will be um, doing updates uh, really as shorts um, as I add shoes to the pipeline so that you can stay abreast of what is going on. And if you like a change in the format or you're really not interested in this stuff anyway, uh, just let me know in the comments and I will let you know. But I thought the stories might, uh, might be interesting. Take care, everyone. Thank you for watching.